Resident Evil. I had a blast playing Resident Evil 4. Um, I I remember beating the original one back in the day, but it, it didn't stick out to me the way as much as 5 did where you had co-op. But uh, coming back through this game uh, just recently was just so fun. Um, and it's it brings back the arcade stuff that has been kind of missing since Resident Evil 7. And it's, you know, just to blow in the hell out of people, to shoot people in the toes, and, you know, and freaking, you know, body slamming them and all that crazy shit, and giving them the, the kung fu kicks. All that stuff's back. It's great. It's a little more fairly balanced. It's no like, it's no like a guarantee, at least on hardcore, that you're just going to, you know, just freaking walk around with nothing but a pistol and just own everything. Um, and, uh... It's fairly close to what the original Resident Evil 4 was in terms of its major gameplay levels and stuff. There's a, enough that's been added that uh, I think really enhances the uh, the original one a great build, and it's just like so fun to use. Um, the particularly one I liked for hardcore mode was the um, the crossbow that you could shoot and then get the bullets. Out, I mean the boats out, and then you reuse them again. That's fun as hell, especially when you're like constantly paranoid about ammo the way i always was and so i'd, I'd get that dang thing and also has a mine on it so you could just like, drop these little mines on the you know set up traps and all this other kind of cool stuff it, it's freaking great and it's guns like that um using the knife where you had the knife that you could repair and then uh it has a, almost like a parry so like as long as you had your knife you can parry bullets and um you know hatchets or whatever the hell they're throwing at you or melee attacks or, or, sta or you can you know get out of a, a bad situation by stabbing them and so this guy this knife kind of armor thing helps your character out because you, leon's a little slow feeling he's a little clunky uh but it, it's it's so dang fun um this is you know oh he's gonna try they're gonna whoop, try to whoop my ass no you're not i got a knife i'm freaking invincible with this knife <laughs> just start just start deflecting all the arrows and shit and uh, that, and there, there's no QTEs, which was um, when Resident Evil 4 originally came out, QTEs were still the rage. It took a long time for them just to get rid of that and realize that, that was just a shitty mechanic. And so there's no QTEs. There's, there's sections, I don't want to spoil too much, but there's sections like the lake that are now been expanded and there's more things you could do to them. And um, I, I particularly like how Ashley is not so damn annoying and she's actually much cooler in this game than in the original one. And it's one of those things that um, I think it might help to have played the original one because they're almost expecting you. And so they change things up for you as you play through again. But this is a perfectly fine game, particularly if you play on maybe normal, to just go through and do if you haven't done Resident Evil before. They're, they pulls from some of the um, old stories, but overall it was designed, even back then, the original Resident Evil 4 was like sort of a soft reboot. And so it, it's a standalone game in its own way. And um, it's one of those things that if you've not played a Resident Evil 4 uh, before, then try this one out. Try this one out. I think you'd like it. Uh, it's just an easy recommend. Uh, graphically, it's freaking great. I do not like that you can't use DOSS on it. That's bullshit. Capcom. It's crap. But uh, there's mods out there, so people have added DOSS. And, uh, and I pl of course, I played the PC version. I actually used the keyboard. And I, I like the keyboard a pretty dang good bit. I know that's probably going to, you know, the the, uh, the freaking OGs out there are pissed off at me. But, hey, man, I'm switched over to keyboard. Sorry, get over it. But I think this is great. An, an easy recommend. It's definitely worth the playthrough. Ah, shit, how long was it? About, was about, I can't remember exactly how long my play time. It was about 16 hours or so, I'd say. I think it's under 20. Uh, but it, it's it's great. It's solid. Um and I, I'm glad that they sort of more um, shooty, freaking superhero style Resident Evils are back. This is this is the great way to bring them back. And I'm looking forward to the next remake they do. Um, this was a remake that did not need to be made, but you know what? We're going as long as we get that and the new res, you know whatever the heck the follow up the village is. I'm I'm all for it. And so an easy pull up here, Kitty. They already knew that they was going to sell like a million copies, and so. Kitty's like, you know what? Let's go play some more Resident Evil. That's great. And Brian was appreciative of the new mechanics, the new changes, um, bringing forth the, the you know the more fast action-y Resident Evils to the to the modern era. That's great. Let's go. Let's get some more. <laughs>